A team of spear fishermen just set a new record and helped reef ecosystems in the Florida Keys in the process. Team Forever Young speared 426 invasive lionfish in just one day. The impressive haul was part of the Reef Environmental Education Foundation's 2022 Earth Day Lionfish Derby, which took place on April 23rd in Monroe County, Florida. Everything came together really well for this tournament. They basically had one full day from sunup to sundown to fish. They actually removed a large number of fish off of their regular reef sites in the evening, and they were all breeding pairs of lionfish, so it was cool to remove those ones. Um, Young and his fellow teammates used rubber band pole powered pole spears to efficiently collect the invasive fish. While a number of teams signed up for the Reef Earth Day Lionfish Derby, they were the only one to actually weigh in fish. Other teams were deterred by poor weather forecasts, which turned to be over turned out to be overblown. With their contribution, spear fishermen at reef derbies have removed more than 30,000 invasive lionfish from the reefs off Florida. Lionfish are an invasive species native to the Indo-Pacific that have become abundant in the coastal waters off the southeastern United States in recent years. They outcompete and prey on uh, native species for foods, and they reproduce year-round and have no natural predators. It's this ugly fish. Coordinated removal efforts are crucial to limiting the impact of these ugly fish. The red lionfish is a venomous coral reef fish in the family uh, Scoropidae. It is mainly native to the Indo-Pacific region, uh, but has become an invasive species in the Caribbean Sea, as well as the along the east coast of the United States and East Mediterranean, and also found in Brazil at Fernando de Noronha. Uh, them and a similar uh, relative have both been deemed invasive species. Red lionfish are clad in white stripes, alternated with red, maroon, brown stripes. Adults in this species can grow up to be 19 inches in length, making it one of the largest species of lionfish in the ocean, while juveniles are typically shorter than an inch. They live around 10 years, and as with many species within the family Scoripidae, it has large venomous spines that protrude from the body, similar to a mane, giving it the common name lionfish. The venomous spines make the fish inedible or deter most potential predators. They reproduce monthly and are able to quickly disperse during their larval stage for expansion of their invasive region. No definitive predators of the lionfish are known, and many organizations are promoting the harvest and consumption of lionfish in efforts to prevent further increases in their already high population densities. It is actually valued as a food fish in many parts of its native range. Its value as an aquarium animal or as a source of attraction to divers far exceeds its economic value as table fare. The red lionfish is a staple of the trade in aquarium fishes, an industry whose value worldwide is estimated to exceed a billion dollars. Similarly, recreational divers of areas where the red lionfish is found count the species among the many attractions of diving a tropical coral reef. Published reports of the species in waters of the east coast of the United States state to a number of individuals first observed off the coast of North Carolina in August 2000. Since that time, numerous observations of these red lionfish have been recorded from South Florida all the way to Long Island, New York. 
The unexpected arrival of the species in the Atlantic has generated a storm of scientific and public inquiry as to how the species even came to be in this area and how it might have an effect on the local area's ecosystems. So this is just a theory, but maybe due to global warming, this species has found a new habitat in the new, um, you know, whether it's like calmer waters or whatever, you know, it's like, I'm sorry, my back's just really, I don't whack today. I mean, it's weird, but um, yeah, back to the video. Uh, the blast water of large ocean going vessel vessels is a documented means of dispersal for non native marine and uh, estuarine organisms, including fish. Commercial vehicles that anticipate transversing rough open seas often fill their blast ballast tanks with water to increase stability, only to release the water from these enormous containers upon arrival at their destinations. In this way, many marine organisms have been transported to new areas. Given the pl planktonic nature of larval red lionfish, or the fact that the species is pur purported to occur in some harbors, some speculate that it is not unreasonable to surmise uh, that the species has gained a foothold on the U.S. East Coast via ballast water transport. Yet others conclude that the species may owe its presence in U.S. waters due to the deliberate release of captive specimens, much like anacondas in Florida's Everglades, which, um, where are they native to? It's uh, South Africa. Um, South America, South America, that's it. Um, these are native to the waters off of Japan, I think. Yes. Um, a recent published summary of the red lion fish in U.S. waters favors this latter explanation as the most plausible means of introduction. Furthermore, a paper published in 1995 records evidence in support of this notion, the accidental release of a number of red lion fish in Biscayne Bay, Florida, in 1992. Um, they are native to the Indo-Pacific. They are a species of reed fish, easily recognized by a striking display of red and white zebra striping and protruding venomous spines. Biologists believe they were probably introduced when aquarium owners emptied the pet lionfish into nearby coastal waters. They were first officially reported in the western Atlantic Ocean in 1985. Since 2004, they have rapidly spread throughout the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they are being widely promoted as um, a food fish. They are voracious predators. Some concerns have been raised that the fish might bioaccumulate sigwa toxin, which results in sigwa terra food poisoning. Sigwa toxin is not denatured by cooking. In general, lionfish should not be eaten if they are harvested from areas prone to high sigwa toxin levels. They are found in a range of habitats from seagrass beds to reefs and range uh, depths ranging from very shallow to depths of a thousand feet. Generally, they are difficult to catch with hook and line and are, are primarily uh, captured by divers using spear guns. What what do they taste like? What do red lion fish taste like? Okay, so um, I guess if you're in Florida and you're looking to help contribute to eating red lionfish, I mean, first, 
make sure that they're prepared properly and they don't have a high ciguatoxin level or whatever that is. And at least according to Google, what they taste like, mild, moist, buttery, and very tender. Uh, in a well-made savish, the lion melts, lionfish meat melts in your mouth while the butteriness balances well with the lime juice. In ceviche, it is rather firm and tastes like a cross between lobster and shrimp. I don't really like the taste of lobster, but I really like shrimp. Look at all that shrimp, boy. Look at all that shrimp. Look at all that shrimp, boy. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been your host, Luke. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. Um... I hope you have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching. Check out my podcast, Reptilian Insider News. Have a good night.